Right, hey guys, here we go again, take two. Okay, so this is the uh, updated video as of the um, 11th of uh, 11th of May. Well, that's gone quick. 11th of May 2022 for the expansion AI. Um, yeah, so the last video lasted four or five days before it went out of date, so I imagine this one would hopefully do a bit better. So quite a lot of the server files have changed. Um, here we are back on the GitHub. Um, good old world has done a good job. So um, this is nice and updated, and this is, is good information. I'll put a link in the um, video description for this. Uh, and it has, as you can see, incoming changes. Do -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do. He says he hasn't done it all, but he has because he's awesome. Um, so the first uh, way to set it up is on a brand new server, drag and drop. So basically, um, first thing to do is to go into your server, go into uh, yeah, go into your server and install the mods. So a mod there, mod there. You'll find these in the workshop folder. If you can't find these, um, go and have a look at my other installing mods video because you will need to, you will need to know where this folder is. And if you haven't found out where this folder is, you clearly haven't done much um, server modding before. So yeah. Go to your mod folder and get the uh, expansion AI. You will also need expansion core. Um, so those two expansion ones for it to work. Uh, you also need community online tools, DABs framework, and CF. As long as you have those five mods, so you'll highlight them, those five mods, the AI will work. Okay. Um, Obviously, you need to copy the keys over when you install these. So, in the Choose folder, so have your keys. Copy the keys over to your keys folder. See, mine is there. See? Okay. Once you've done that, you uh, add, if you're using the Charo or uh, anything else, you need to add your mod to the list. And then once you've done that, save it or save the, the batch file you used to run the server or if it's a local server or whatever. And uh, yeah. And once you've done that, um, you sh one more very important thing to do. So this is probably the most important thing. You need to be aware of what your player profiles folder is called. So for Nitrado servers, it's called config. And for... Um, uh, I think it's GTX Gaming. It's called um, a two-letter thing. I can't remember what the letters are, but it's something something. It's, um, it's like a weird folder with two capital letters. Um, it's often just called Server Profiles. Sometimes it's just called Profiles. There's lots of different names for it. You sh should already really know what it is. Um, but anyway, for, for me, it's called Config. And what you will need to do um, is go to the GitHub, which is linked in the description. You should download these files, click that, download zip, and to extract the zip folder, which you can do by right clicking on it and extract. And then it'll take you to um, this. And this is, this is what you will have downloaded. What you'll need to do, go into here, into MP missions, don't worry about this. It can be, it can be any, uh, it can be any mission. And open up this. Okay. And now in your server, do the same thing. So go to your whichever server you're running on, and then open up your init.c. And what you need to do is you need to copy over the include line. You can see I've already done it. So this include line at the top, do that, right click, copy, and then paste it into here. This next step is the bit that keeps tripping people up. Okay, so um, here you can see in the downloaded one, it says server profile. So if your uh, server profile folder is called server profile, that's fine. Um, if it's called the two letter one that GTX Gaming has, you need to change this, this server profile to that two letter. Like I have here, look, I've changed this to config because my um, Server profiles folder, it's called config. That's very important, otherwise this will not work. Um, the other thing you need to do in this is copy your uh, copy the 
initialize dynamic patrols. So copy that. Uh, if you have Chinara server, it'll be in exactly the same place. I have a Namalsk um, init.c, but as long as you put it at the end of the void statement, so this is this is a this this is a, a void main, sorry, the, the the end of the mains. This is the void main. You've got to get to the end of it. That's the open bracket to show the beginning of it. And you need to find the end one. So there's the end one with the comma. I need to put it before that. As you can see, I've put mine there. So as long as as long as it's there in any mission, that'll that'll work fine. Let me save it and close it. That's the most important thing done, really. Um, and now what you want to do is start your server. And it should hopefully generate some files. Um, what you want to do is start your server and then stop your server. And that will generate the correct files and the correct paths and folders and make it a lot easier for you to do. This isn't this isn't a necessity, but it's it's something that makes things a lot easier. I'll just wait until this uh, restarts and stop it again. Stop. Make sure you stop it, otherwise the files won't generate. Okay, server stops. Now if you go into your server profiles or config folder or whatever it's called, you should notice that there's, oh, it didn't work. Oh, look, I might have to refresh it. Refreshed, and aha, expansion mode has appeared. Yeah, so if, if uh, the files don't generate, make sure you either close or reopen your, your server, see if the files have refreshed. So go into here, into the expansion mod folder. You might already have one anyway if you've got expansion installed. And you'll have a settings with AI settings, and you'll have AI and loadouts inside that AI folder. So um, first thing I'd do is I'd go into the settings folder, see the files that generated, go into AI settings, and I'd put your um, Steam ID in here so that you can access the radial menu um, to basically to let you order the uh, AI around if, if you're the if you're the admin. So copy it from one place you can find it is if you go to your Steam doo -doo, whatever it's called Steam page and uh, there's an options in the options menu to enable um, the address bar just here. And that is your Steam ID. That's the easiest way of getting it anyway. Copy that and paste it into there. And what you do need to do, however, is put it in quotation marks. So double quotation marks either side like that, pop, pop, and then save it. I found if you don't do that, it doesn't work. Um, okay, the next step is to go back a folder. So you're in your expansion mod folder in your, um, yeah, here basically. And when we go into the AI folder, and this is uh, where we come to these files that we downloaded again. So we go for the same path. So go in the server expansion mod folder, AI. So now we have to copy across this utils folder to the AI folder inside that expansion mod folder. And then we go, uh, yeah. And what I would do is copy across the patrols folder go into the patrols now these patrol settings are Chinaris plus so if you are running Chin, uh, Chinaris plus sorry um, you can keep that if you're running a different Mac like me I'm running the mouse if you delete this it will automatically make some new patrols depending on the map you're running as long as you are running if we go back to the github one of these maps so we have Generous Plus, whatever the hell that is, Deer Isle, Enoch, uh, Essica, Namalsk, Takistan, do -ba -do, -do, -ba do do So if you have any of them, it should auto generate patrols. Um, I haven't tested it on everything, but I know it works for Namalsk and um, Generous Plus. Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, and that should be it. So you might be wondering, oh, but there's no. Uh, there's, there's no, none of the files I need. If I go in loadouts, there aren't any loadouts. And if I go in patrols, there isn't any patrols. There's no, no patrol settings. So what you need to do is start your server. And then 
Stop your server. Okay, so now the server stopped. We should be able to refresh our server, or if you've just got a normal server, it'll show it anyway. And there we go, it's generated some patrol settings for the map that you're using. Because um, if you obviously you have Chinaris patrol settings, they'll be like in the middle of nowhere. But these will these will spawn on the roads and things and exciting places. Now loadouts. Um, this is something people are again struggling with. So if you copy loadouts from this folder into there, that won't actually work. What it'll do is stop the loadouts from automatically generating. So if they're so for instance, if I had um, if I had, let's just do it like this, if I had West Loadout in this folder and I started up the server um, and I went and found someone with a West Loadout, they would be unclothed. They wouldn't have any guns, any items on them at all. Um, what you need to do actually is get rid of that or if you've got a loadout that you've already made and you're happy with it, sorry, if you've got a... Um, yeah, if you've got a loadout that you've already made and you're happy with it, what you will have to do is like name it something different. So say, custom West loadout. That way, uh, the other one can generate and it'll recognize this as a different one from the default ones. Not sure why it does that, but that just seems to be what it does. Um, yeah, and these will also generate when you actually find them in game. Um, and that should make it work. Um, I'm going to test it now. I'm going to open up the server, Doo -ba -doo -ba -doo. and I'm going to I'm going to jump on it on Daisy and see what happens. Um, there we go. Okay. Um, here we are in game. So, what? Well, one thing you can do to test if the radio menu works is, and your admin is hold T. There we go. AI commands, debug. Can spawn a friendly AI, spawn hostile, do we do, do spawn all the stuff. Let's spawn a friendly AI, shall we? <gasps> oh look! And he will uh, stick close to you, follow you about, it's pretty cool. And you can uh, set formation. You get, if you have a load of them, form wall. Ooh, yeah, where are you going? What are you doing? So it seems to like me, doesn't she? <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, we just got rid of that. So one way you can make sure that the patrols are working is you can push your, well for me it's end key to start community online tools, then Y to bring up the menu, ESP tools, tick players because the AI are actually counted as players in this, uh, in this instance. Um, I like to turn the radius up to about 500 meters, auto refresh, maybe yeah, every one second or so. It might be get a bit laggy, but then show ESP. And what you can do is push insert, hold down Q, and you go flying up into the air. And you look at your character, and oh look, it's Hepsky, it's me. Um, that's where I am. So AI, I know spawn roughly 500 away meters away from my position. So let's go and find some, shall we? Okay. So after a little bit of searching, didn't take long at all. Oh, there's two different groups. Look, one over there, one over here. Let's go another look at them. Oh, military guys going for a walk. Awesome. So now we've found these guys. Uh, you can go and interact with them and stuff. Don't get your head blown off. Uh, let's go and do that, shall we? Pop you, pop myself there. Uh, where are they? 100 meters away. Let's go have a little look. Oh, let's do this. It's always good to turn God mode on if you're teleporting because you might actually fall to your death by accident. Actually, I'm also going to turn ESP tools off so we can see them. Hey boys, how's it going? Oh! Yeah. They didn't like me. Oh, shit, they're not very good shot. Uh, oh, he says. Oh! Well, that went well, didn't it? Anyway, so that proves that it works, doesn't it? If we come out of that, um, oh, hang on. we can see that uh, if we refresh that, the loadouts have now spawned in, and that's because we went in game and we uh, we made some spawn basically, and that spot that starts the loadouts as an automatic script. Very clever, really good job to the guys that sorted that out. It's fantastic work. 
Um, okay, making a, making your own custom loadout. Best thing to do is copy one of these, um, change the name to whatever you want. I'm just going to call mine a custom uh, West loadout. Don't need that anymore. Open it up. And here we go. Um, so here we have oh a lot of stuff. Very clever. So it's fairly simple, really. It looks complicated, but it's not. Um, don't worry too much about that to start with. It, it's just kind of in sections, really. So slot name, body. What do you think that is? That is jackets and t-shirts and anything that goes in your body slot in your inventory. Um, and as you can see, they've put just here, that is one item. So that's the jacket. Um, and it has a chance to spawn pristine, which is max. You see health max. It has the chance to spawn at 70, so 70% 70 quality, whatever that is. I'm guessing it's like worn or something like that. Um, and if you wanted to add something into the cargo, you could add it into here. And all you, well, I'll show you down uh, in, in one of the other bits in a minute. Um, so that's one desert jacket. And then because you've got to the end of that and you want to add another one, they've put a comma there. And then they've essentially copied this section and pasted it below because they wanted to add a woodland jacket as well. And then when they finished with that, they stop adding the commas and then close it off. Okay, so that one has a comma because I want to add another one. And then there's no comma on that one because it's going to the next um, slot, which is legs. Again, you've got a choice of the desert pants or the USMC pants woodland. And there's a comma in between them. You get the idea. So keep going down, keep going down. Combat boots, combat boots. Your feet, you've got what's going on your back. So backpacks, etc. Um, more bags. Um, ah, okay, this would be a good thing to show you. So in this green quality bag, they've added to that cargo bit. So you see what I mentioned above, the cargo bit. Um, it initially looked just like this attachments bit, um, but except these brackets here have now opened up and they've pasted in exactly the same thing as, as, as we looked at before, pretty much. Um, except they changed the class name to bandage dressing. So in this Coyote Green backpack, they will spawn a bandage dressing. And oh, look, a comma. So what does that mean? There's going to be another item, another bandage dressing chance to spawn. And a green cam light, a green cam light. And that's the last one because there's no comma. And then it finishes, finishes that one off. You get the idea. It keeps going on. There's a vest, headgear, helmets, Okay, so night vision goggles, they need a battery to work. So what they've added to the attachments bit is a 9 volt battery so that you can turn it on or the, they can be turned on. And um, so if, uh, if the guy, when you kill him, drops this, you'll pick it up and it'll have a battery attached to it so you can immediately use it. Um, yeah, that's basically the gist of this. Uh, there's one more thing. Hands, here we go. So when this AI spawns, he has a chance of spawning in his hands a scout. Now, any of these values you can change. So this is how you create a custom loadout. You can, you can produce your own one. You can um, use anything you have on your server. So you can use modded items, modded guns. Um, like if you have a clown mod, for instance, you can make a load of clowns running around a server. Um, yeah, you can do anything you want. And it's it's freaking awesome. So really well done, expansion team. Um, that's it's bloody fantastic. And all the guys working uh, working with them. So that's how you create a custom loadout. And what you will want to do with a custom loadout is put them in a place where you want to put them. So I highly recommend using um, I Survive map. Again, I'll put a link to this in the description because as you can see at the bottom here, it gives you some coordinates. 
not this advert. This here gives you coordinates for wherever your mouse is. And to copy those coordinates, you hover your mouse over wherever you want to go. So let's go to, say, the airfield. Hover your mouse here. I know for a fact there's already a patrol on the airfield, so you won't want to do it here. But just for example, hover your mouse over where you want to start. Do Control C. Go into your patrol settings. And what you'll want to do is, um, well, actually what you want to do to start with is copy one of these up to where the comma is because as with the last file a comma means you want to add another one in like at the bottom of this file you'll find that there won't be any more commas and either above it or underneath it just for example I'm going to put it underneath it paste in another one so we have two of these now this here is exactly the same as this one here let's open this up so you can see what I'm going on about so as you can see these last coordinates here are exactly the same as these last coordinates here so what I want to do is uh, make our own ones so I'm just going to do two coordinates to keep it simple and because so we'll get rid of all of these and what we'll also have to do is get rid of this comma because it's turned this into the last coordinate now there we go um, so when making our own coordinates we'll have to pick our start position so um, go on your map hover over where you want, hit control C and then um, what I recommend you do is open up notepad or something and paste the coordinates in here because as you can see there is a forward slash so uh, copy or well actually I'm going to copy that over to our start position so that's our X coordinate which will be and this is our Z coordinate which is the bottom one so the X is the top the Z is the bottom one control V Oop. Let's take that back down again. so as you can see the last one there again doesn't have a comma because that's the end of it these ones do okay so you may be wondering why didn't we change this middle one now this is the Y coordinate so the up and down so um, basically what you want to do is if you want the AI to be at ground level just whack a zero in there and that will um, that will automatically mean that they'll go to the ground level uh, it's the same should be I think the same with all the rest of the coordinates as well if you want them to spawn in a building or something like that you will need to go into um, community online tools and um, find the Y coordinate that way I'll put the example clip here okay right here we are again um, on the road to Cami. I'm just gonna make my guy super duper invincible for now because I don't want him to die and uh, what we will need to do is put in our coordinates so go player management make sure that you are selected and if there's anyone else in your server it needs to be you that's selected otherwise you'll end up teleporting other players around um, go to the coordinates that you need so to, to do that just then I'd hold, hold down alt and push tab and it cycled through the windows that I had open so what you want to do is go to that notepad where you copy the coordinates copy your X coordinate and get rid of the one that's in here and then copy your Z coordinate and put it in your Z coordinate control V and then what you want to do is push teleport to coordinates and that'll take you to those specific coordinates um, now sometimes this puts you underneath the map and you fall so make sure you have god mode on but um, what you will have to do to get out then is change your y coordinate to something higher basically there we go teleported us here and to find out what the y coordinate is for this exact position is you just untick that and tick that again or push refresh coordinates now you can see that this is the y coordinate so all you've got to do is, uh, yeah, all you've got to do really is put down 6, because that's close enough to 6, or 6.1, and that'll do. Okay, so one thing you really need to do now is your first waypoint needs to be exactly the same as your start position. Okay, so start position wise. I'd copy that and just paste it straight into here. 
you may be asking why why does it need to be the same the main reason for that is if they spawn in here for instance and then run you get them to run down here and then they go across here and then up here and you tell them to to tell them to loop which basically means you okay, keep going around I'll explain more about that in a minute what they'll do is they'll come down here get to here go to their next coordinate get to here go to the next coordinate you basically told them to start again but because you've put their first waypoint is down here what they'll end up doing is crossing all the way across this airfield so you need to make sure that your first waypoint is here okay so start position waypoints the same um, yeah, that's fine. We'll just do that. So second waypoint, we start them here. We want it to be, say, here. Control C, paste it in a new line. It's our second coordinate. Control C. So that's our X, and that's our. Uh, sorry, our Z coordinate. We'll set that as zero. So we now have our two coordinates that we want and our start position, which is of course the same as the first one. I can't stress that enough. Um, and so what do we want them to do? We want them to run from here to here and then do it again. Yeah? So we want them to go one, two, one, two. So currently what we have in here is reverse. What reverse means is, say we have four coordinates. They would go one, two, three, four. And when they get to their final coordinate, so one, two, three, four, they will go back down three, two, one. So three, two, one. One, two, three, four, three, two, one. Um, and that's not what we want in this case. We just want them to go one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So we want to change reverse to loop capital letters. Um, number of AI, pretty self-explanatory, there will be four. Loadout file, you can make them have their own individual loadout file. Sorry, you can make them have their own individual loadout by putting the loadout file name there. So if we have a look in our loadouts, you can see what we have. So any of these names, Gorka loadout.json, we can pop it in there. Gorka, oh, not all capitals, is it? Gorka loadout.json. There we go, so that's in there. Um, speed, walk. So they will walk around and then walk towards you trying to shoot you. You can also have uh, run, and I believe you can also have sprint. I advise only having walk or run because sprint gets a bit chaotic and they will chase you down. Um, so mm, respawn time, min dist and max dist. Um, if it, they're all at minus 2.0, they will default to these. Okay. Now what these mean is respawn time, 600 seconds. That means every 10 minutes, if they die, they will respawn. Um, so the minimum radius is all players, not just one player, but all players have to be at least 300 meters away for them to spawn. And if all players are over 1,200 meters away, they will despawn. Now this can be customized for each one. So what you need to do is change these values here. Um, change these values here to, to suit whatever you want. Um, but yeah, that will that will spawn that will spawn. Oh, I suppose we really we should do our custom west loadout, shouldn't we? So let's just do that for the sake of it. Copy that guy, stick it in there. There we go. So that means we have our very own loadout here. Of course, what I did do when making this was I used the uh, Chinaris map where on a Namalsk. Uh, server which is a bit silly because it means they'll, they'll spawn in, in the middle of nowhere <laughs> whoops but never mind I can just delete that but make sure you use the right map for the right server anyway a bit of a waste of time for me but never mind um, I hope that's been helpful
you show showing you how to customize things and uh, yeah I like you all to remember that this is um, still kind of almost experimental kind of uh, in still in a test phase of this AI the expansion team are working really hard on it and they've just got over a, uh, a nasty memory leak bug which caused a lot of problems so uh, be prepared for lots of updates for this mod and lots more issues that may potentially happen um, I hope this has been helpful. If you can think of anything else I should add to this, um, please let me know and I'll put it either as a pinned comment in the comments or um, uh, in the description below my video. Um, yeah, I hope it's been helpful.